See, this detail stuff, it's, you know, not overly complicated, but it's time consuming, right? Lots of steps. I'm not just flat out shingling. So remember, I've got to do this time seven today. So I'm not going to bother sprinting through something that I should take my time doing. And you want to cut this back because I'm going to be chalking this. So I need it out of my way. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use this professional eyesight of mine to make sure that that's straight. You could chalk a line, obviously, which is probably the better thing to do. But what do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh that's good, eh? Not bad. Oh, yeah. I like when that happens. That never happens. to nail in here because we're going to overlap all that anyway so so we got our little sections like I said don't be scared you can overlap all of this so don't panic Huge overlap in here. Any imperfections like that, see that dip there? I can work out when I go to the shingle phase. Actually, I should probably knock that down a bit so when I chalk, it's not a fucking shit show. Yeah, that's better. All right, there. So I can work this section now because I'll have to do a different section going up that other way. And I have to ice some water down a little bit, so. But here, so this is where we are at. Remember, we came up from the bottom. Now, I'm going to start trimming. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice and straight. All right. So. here make sure I am where I'm supposed to be okay so, this is right in the middle perfect so, what I'll do now because you want the valley to match your drip take a straight edge go to the center point here okay all you have to do is line this up and it'll go with that the whole way So I take my knife, make a little line. See, and this is why you don't um, nail this down, because if you nail all this down here, cutting this is a nightmare. I've done that to myself a few times, and it's not the best. Oh, of course I'm leaving my stuff laying around now. Knock this a little higher, so it's not overhanging. Let's see, just a little higher than the line. Yeah. Okay. So we have our valley there. Now, for this side, let's see if I can get, for this side, it's gonna be different. going to run this side we're gonna do approximately because you gotta remember my line's gonna be coming here so maybe at the bottom of the shingle I'll nip it up so this side's more of a because remember this this is all gonna get covered well, I probably could have gotten away without that shingle underneath that's okay 
actually. Yeah, maybe I'll remove that. I can probably, it lines up actually perfectly if you look at the three. So when I, yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, it's nice when stuff like that works out. for this. Here we go. Yeah, that actually worked out really good. Because you see, the reason why I'm saying, you'll see in a minute why I'm, I'm talking about that. But this shingle will actually land on my, where my California starts, so. That doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's awesome. And I'm like, oh my god, he's nailing the metal. Yeah, it's all getting covered, don't worry. All right, so that worked out good. Sometimes it doesn't, like, you know, you can run this down as you're coming up and say it's like way up here. So you kind of need the shingle coverage for the exposure. But when stuff like this happens, you gotta just run with it, you know? It worked out perfect. Everything's working out. The straightness worked out. This worked out. Yeah. I might have to trim that again after, but that's okay. Uh, see, we're over on this. Here's our, here's our starter. So this water's gonna now kick out and land on all this metal that we placed underneath here. So, I mean, it's completely watertight now. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll probably have to trim that after, but I'll get this pinned down and then... Uh. Uh. Basically, I want to keep it as flat as possible. It's not so much that water's going to get in, but when I'm chalking, it becomes really annoying. So here, this is where this starts. Um, got some nails. So this is kind of a personal preference thing. Okay, so I'm gonna three finger. You see three on the seam, one finger over. Okay, this is like, a, like I say, 100% personal preference. Uh, you can do two finger. I like the look of two fingers too. They're nice and tight. This contractor likes three, so three is what he gets. And this side, again, this is getting coverage, so I'm not worried about nailing this. Kind of want it there. Ugh. There you go. I should probably put chalk in my fucking chalk lane. Oh, my chalk lane disappeared. Oh no. Oh no, the horror. I don't even remember using it yesterday. Well, I guess I used it in there, but maybe it fell out on the ground. That's not mine, that's the other guys. Um, shit. This one have chalk in it even. See my sandies? Yeah, gotta make sure you got sandies. Oh yeah, it's got chalk, fuck it. All right, here we go. Okay, I got a 
huge run. Okay, so we've got, remember what I said, three. Let's go, here we go. And look at it, right? Like if it doesn't look right, then obviously it's not, so. You know, use your eyes. Oh, nice big fat line. Yeah. okay that look even you yeah. ah, kind of missed there that's okay what do we got yeah see nice straight valley yeah most of these like humps and divots especially when you're running two angles like that you're never gonna get a lay down flat so don't beat yourself up over it when I was younger you know, I try, try to make sure, like, oh my god, it's like, this isn't working, and, you know, it's dumb. So when you're running these, you don't want to run, um, don't run the ones with the bad edges, because this is a straight edge, so, for here, you see, you see that cut mark I did? So now your valley runs clean out. That's why I do that. Don't be scared to give her a little pressure. You know, it's fighting with you. Fight back. Yeah. Okay. Now we take this way. Remember? I want this tip on the tip here, okay? Ah, this shingle's not great either, but oh well, it's low. Won't see it. Get this pinned. This is why you don't have to like nail crazy when you're installing the metal. You're gonna come back and nail it anyway. So you're kind of just wasting nails. I mean, you're not, it's not gonna leak or anything, but I don't know. Kind of silly. Some people like put nails every four inches, and it's just absurd. Ugh. Uh, we got these on the line. Yeah, you see how high that is? Try and squish her down a little. I don't know why that's twisting so much. I don't know that keyways like that, but. Must be straight. <sighs> yeah. So that's what you do for your California, right? Okay, so you get these lined up. All nice. All nice and tight. Okay. Spin it. fucking humpback wheel like I said two different sizes you're gonna have crazy differences you're never gonna get these straight like are uh, perfectly flat with two different pitches so don't worry about it it's more cosmetic than anything So, I'm not gonna keep going up, there's no point. You get the gist. Okay. Now, I can start working this section up into this valley. Um, no, I don't need that. Need more shingles, a couple more shingles in there. Hey, you see how that valley shoots the water straight out onto the shingles? Full coverage. more of these bad boys okay now 
Now this side, yeah, fucking laser straight. It's good. It's good. Come here, you fucker. Actually, do I have a PC? I do. I have to go under that later. But for now, it's okay. Oh, you would. Yeah. Okay. Now here. See, I've got a nice Californias here. This. The reason why you need this under too, right? Like this valley metal is coming down here. This shingle, it's like, okay, well, you know, this needs to land on this. What we have to do is build this section up to land this valley on this. This has to go on top of this because this is lower than this. Oh. See how far I can squeeze this shingle in here? Not very. All right, so it's gonna need a little bit of a trim. About an inch, I'd say. Take this strip out. Let's try that. See if I can't make that work. Okay, so. Not so much, eh? Not so much. Uh, yeah, a little Tetris piece here. There we go. So again, you want these tips to touch, gingerly touch the tips. Okay. I'll kill you, get him away. Okay. So this is gonna be the other fun little piece here, okay? You see all that water damage in there? That's again, it's not gonna happen this time around. Okay, now we got a Foley in. So, what do we got for pieces here? So, remember, six inches, six inches, give or take an inch. Ow, fucking ladder. Okay, so this. You know, you could make a case here to put you know, more metal in, but I'm gonna have the drip coming down, which is I'll trim and run it long, and then I'll run the valley, you know, all the way out here, like by the time this is on. So this really doesn't matter and it's gonna be covered anyway. But yeah, I mean, you know, you can get crazy and start putting stuff in where you feel like, you know? But I'm not like, some things are just ridiculous and overkill and I'm not gonna waste my fucking time doing it. Just knock this right out. Okay. Oh, so close. So close. I guess I should have had that over a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna redo this one. I don't like it. Okay, so approximately, let's try and guesstimate where we're gonna be. Everything's still a little cold, so nothing's cutting nicely for me. Come here, you fucker. Okay. Okay. I had to take a little bit off of this.
So I gotta take a little bit more out of this, I think. But, uh, this ladder is really fucking my shit up. It's uh, the problem with being in Canada and shingling. Everything's fucking uh, so hard. Not like down in Florida. They got, you know, where they think cold is 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, I was gonna notch this back. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, so as you can see, my shingle goes up in here. Okay, that's right to the plywood. And watch the coverage I give this. You'll see what happens. See, I got my six inches. You got your tight here, tight here, square. Okay. Okay. Into the tar line. Okay. I'll nail this down. Um, yeah, I can nail it down now. I'll leave that section. I'll try and recycle. Uh, problem with stucco jobs is obviously can't change any of that flashing. Okay, so now we're past, right? Talked about this on the other section. Now we're past, okay? Now this drip can land on the shingle. Just like this landed on the shingle. Everything needs to land on the shingle below. Okay, you don't want it landing here. You want it landing on the meat. Uh, get that tiny little piece of drip there. Oh, my sketchy ass ladder. This is not gonna sit in here perfectly, right? So you have to, I mean, you don't have to, you can just drop it, but you know, if you're gonna do so. Fuck you, man. Oh uh, yeah, I wish I could change this ladder position because this fucking sucks. Ugh. All right, stay here. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? All right, that's actually not terrible. Yeah. Maybe I'll just nip this corner. Ooh. Just give it a little nippy. Oh. Yeah, I have a feeling that's gonna be in my way. All right. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. We got coverage. We got coverage. Oh, look at that, eh? You can't tell if it's on or off. Uh, probably take a little more off of that. Uh. Eh? Okay. I can't tell if it's just the wall that's crooked or what's going on here. Anyways, so here. Tight, okay, but you don't want to overlap. Okay, don't nail all the way up because you got to miter this. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, getting a little horny here. Come on, come on, yeah. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just an idiot. All right. The, I knew the drip was sitting funny on the face. That's, I was trying to, I don't know. Apparently my brain's not working yet. This is the drip we need. So you have your longer profile stuff and then you want the meatier one for this. So now that I know what I'm doing, kind of, you know, giving a tutorial and looking like a jackass. So, here we are. Give us a little snippy, snippy snip. All right. Get out of here. All right. So now that I got the right material, oh, 
And one of those mornings, one of those mornings. All right, now I get to redo all this again, so. Okay, so let's try and run this roof line. Let's see if I can get it. Oh. See if we can get this roof line right. Okay, you see that coverage there? <laughs> see now that I've now that I've got the right one, you see that? <laughs> it sealed that hole up. It's amazing what happens when you use the right materials. All right, let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay, remember what I said though. Don't want to nail the top because we're gonna want a 45 that. that. Okay, so remember what we talked about down here. Okay, you have your metal, well this flashing is just counter flashing for the wall, but anyways, you have metal, you have shingle, you have shingle, metal, you want that valley to come down here and land on shingle. But this is still gonna get your overhang, so you're gonna bring that valley kind of way out here. Trust me, no water is coming all the way back up in there. That's, that's not a thing. So, now that we have the right now that we have the right drip on, okay, make sure we're installing the right stuff. I could probably get up here for this shit. Oh, eh. yeah. All right. You know, and for this stuff, you don't need to drop it. Like, run it past. You know, you don't have to. Like run it past this valley, like you don't have to cut it in the like it's <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna fuck up the valley anyway, so Okay. I like to get two so it doesn't twist. It's nice and tight in there. Alright. See, now we're ready for this piece. Alrighty. So you can, on this side, you could use a, a scratched up piece, maybe put the scratch piece lower, but it's just because nobody can see it. It's going to rust at some point, uh, which obviously will darken it up, so you won't really notice it anyway. But yeah, see the valley into valley. So yeah, we could take one of these pieces now. Slide this in here. Slide this past. Uh, okay. So, well, that's not even anywhere close, is it? It is not. All right. So, this is where I check, right? Like, it's like on this one, do I need to run, maybe I should trim that back. Do I need to run another shingle up or just drop shingle it? See, on the, in this specific instance, what I'll do so I'll run this past. Okay, where is that lining up? Maybe, yeah. In this instance, I will trim this, just so it's not exposed. Okay. What we got? What do we got? Okay, so that other valley's giving me grief there. Okay, so if we do three. So I might need to nip this a touch. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get this pin down anyway and set. You see, no valley is going to be the same. Like no landing is going to be the same. These profiles are different, and it's and it's okay. Like you, a lot of this job is just figuring shit out as you go, right? It's not. Uh, as long as you understand what the water is going to do, you know, you'll be okay. Uh, clean up my mess here. It's like shit. Uh. So yeah. And then, it's going to be the same routine as last time. We're going to take our straight edge. Okay. Take our little straw. I guess I can work on the roof now. 
So I'm going to knock this one back as well this time. I know I didn't do it last time, but eat shit. I'm doing it this time. I'm going to knock this guy because I can. So this is going to be the same profile as this shingle. Uh, and this guy is going to come down here. So yeah, you're going to get a little, you know, a little... Where is that outside? Okay, I'm gonna make sure these are nice and straight. So, I'm gonna take this off at three. I'm not gonna go all, or no. Yeah, I might have to go all the way down. I do, I do, oh no. I'm disobeying my own rules, yes, right to the tip. Just right to the tip, just the tip, all right. Those are two drastically different angles. I might have to do some trimming after, but again, two different pitches, a different setup. So this valley lands different than this one, and that's okay. Like, that's just the way it goes. Nothing's gonna look exactly the same. But it, as long as it looks nice, it doesn't matter if it looks the same, it doesn't need to. Ah, oh, you're, man, oh. It's not a good cut, is it? Oh. Yeah, okay, that'll work. This guy, a trim. This guy, um, yeah, and I'll probably trim this after. Um, this little, I'll show you. Okay, okay. Let's see, two different roof landings, two different. So, okay, let's pin this thing down now, now that we've got it lined up. Yeah, I might have to trim that edge off, or not have to, but I probably will. Just nail the edge. Kind of the same results as last time. Kind of get an idea on this. This is going to sit. Because this is going to sit three up, right? So, let's try and get an idea. So, with that, let's just clean this up a little. Or can I? I can't really. No, not without taking out that. Uh, well, I guess I can take that out. Try and clean this up a touch. Uh, I want to take it out too. Let me just notch it back. Just so it's not a big phalange like that. Just notch. I could bring this back in for that middle. Run. 
us back. Three, three. Yeah, I'll finish that and then trim it up so it looks decent. Guess I could have ran a drop shingle on the other side. solid uh. Yeah, I might trim that back just to make it look cleaner. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some shingles on there and see see what I'm working with here. Uh, yeah, I'll just trim that back there so it doesn't look like shit. Uh, doesn't look like shit. Uh, in here nice little trio remember I had to ice and water this whole thing yeah, if there's nails like that I, I'll just knock them out oh man could go for some warmer weather so these cut nice oh, there we go all right, get this section here. Let's uh, knock this out. Get this a little trimmy. Okay. Now we have our rake. This. I was saying, you have your shingle, shingle, valley, shingle, you have your metal underneath here. This is way up past, so I ran this over like an inch, so if there's a little contact, that's fine. This is, the wall is like back here. So, and then yeah, so then you'd 
start going your shingles up. You know, I can start going my shingles up here. That's how you do. That's how you do the double valley. Shingle here, here, here. As long as you're landing on metal and shingle, you're fine. You're always going to be fine. Just you got to make sure you work from the bottom up all the way up. See, this little section could be super confusing, but it's not. If you just start at the bottom, think like water and work your way all the way up. And that is that.